Mythic 11.11 Web UI has been out for more than a year now. It's had a huge impact on Stable Diffusion and its users. However, this is the most important update since it came out. Scenario is a five-star online service that allows you to create your own images and to curate a wide variety of models for your own custom needs using generative AI. Use Scenario when you need to streamline your creative workflows and to coordinate the style of your assets. The approachable user interface is easy to use, but scales up to tackling a myriad of professional tasks, including the training of your own subject and style lawyers and models. The professional level accounts are used by studios and entire game development teams. To get started with Scenario, sign up for a free account using the link below and start exploring. So Automatic 11.11's web UI continues to be the most popular version of Stable Diffusion that is capable of being run on your own PC. However, there is a new development, which is the arrival of Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge. This new version carries certain improvements, certain advantages, and we want to take a look at those. We're going to be looking at a way of installing this so that you can run it alongside Automatic 11.11 and decide which one works best for you. Now, the main thing is that you're going to be still using 100% Automatic 11.11 Web UI, but there are significant advantages and those advantages can be summarized as to make development easier. It also optimizes resource management, which is something which is beneficial for the vast majority of us. And it also speeds up inference and that's going to be important for almost all of us. Now, the name Forge is inspired from Minecraft Forge. The project is aimed at becoming SD Web UI's Forge. Now, I have no idea what any of that means. I don't play Minecraft, but if you know a 14 year old who's into Minecraft, they might be able to explain that. Now, the benefits, as they're explained here, seem pretty substantial, and they are most focused on uh, individuals who are using a standard 8 gigabyte. VRAM, GPU, or something even less powerful. You do get some improvements when you're using a more powerful GPU like the RTX 4090 with its 24 gigabytes of VRAM. But the main advantages there would be more to do with using extensions and some of the newer models, which don't work very well inside of uh, Automatic 11.11, but which should work a lot better inside of this version. Another benefit is that we're going to learn a new way of installing the package. So there are multiple ways of installing this one. We can install it in exactly the same way as installing Automatic 11.11, which is covered here. There's a way of installing it basically on top of Automatic 11.11. And there is a very simple way, which we're gonna use, which is the one-click method. And this method, I think, should allow you to run these two packages on the same computer without any kind of conflict happening. That's the hope, and I'm gonna show you how to do it this way. I also want to cover something which might involve a little bit of confusion. So that's the naming, the nomenclature. So we've been using Automatic 11.11 all of this time to refer to Stable Diffusion Web UI. Automatic 11.11 is actually the name of the account that uh, produces Stable Diffusion Web UI. And Ilias VL is the name of the account that produces this new version, which is Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge. Now we've got the file where we need it inside of the inside of the directory that I created for this project. And we're just going to right click and choose for 7-zip. We're going to choose extract here and it will uh, unload all of the stuff that we need into the directory that I created for this particular project. Now, I think the instructions that we had were to update first and then to run. So let me just double check that. So they do say that running update.bat first is important because that may uh, remove some bugs that they've fixed in the meantime. So here we are. Let's run update. Okay. And that opens up a window and then it should start to update. So you can see why that was important. There were quite, a, quite there's quite a lot of stuff that needed to be updated. Let's run use run.bat to get everything going. 
So the installation took a little bit longer than I thought it would. The inst installer was actually downloading a checkpoint and installing the checkpoint. So we can actually just come here and start running prompts using the install checkpoint. Now, the important thing here is that the, the, this will resemble the automatic 11.11 web UI uh, interface, but we have got Z123, 0123, stable video diffusion. These are new models, new methods inside of stable diffusion. We, we can run these inside of a comfy UI. And I have a bunch of courses where we discuss how to run these new features, the video features, the 3D features, but you haven't been able to do this inside of uh, web, web UI. With this new installation, we can do 0123, we can do stable video diffusion, and there are a lot of other benefits. And that's the reason I wanted you guys to be aware of this and to start taking advantage of it if and when you wanted to. Now, it takes about 10 gigabytes to install every version of Stable Diffusion. So if you feel that it's too much space for you, you may want to delay using this for a while, but I think it's very useful. And when you start using it, I think you'll find that it's a really powerful way of, way of working. Now, if you enjoy using Stable Diffusion, it should be quite a straightforward process learning how to use Scenario, the sponsor of this video. The user interface allows you to do a huge number of things, but to get started, you can quite easily uh, start using some of the prompting features, uh, the prompt builder, the prompt spark. These all make it fairly easy to get started. And you should not have too much trouble actually getting quite a lot of decent stuff out of the software uh, once you start using it. And if you want to learn more about Stable Diffusion, I have a number of courses that you may want to sign up to. I'll have a link to those in the description.